Well, rip me, as I just recorded a 17-minute video about OPD Militia, with my microphone muted. Take two. Patreon allows creators to offer their fans a way of supporting them and what they do. With flexible and painless payment options, anyone can support their creator for as little as $1 a month. If you would like to help me do what I love, check out the link in the video description to learn more. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Paragon Guide. I am Silphid. We're taking a look at OPD Militia, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Let's check it out. What does the math say? So guys, what is the TLDR? Basically, the pass, the active, the toggle active has changed. It now scales with hero level 50 plus 5 times hero level in ability damage per hit still costs 20 mana. So, the, the, the time when it equals the same amount of damage as before, 120, is at hero level 14. So, before hero level 14 deals less damage than before, but at hero level 20, it does 25% more damage. It's insane 60 percent dps increase on at hero level 20 for carries it is unbelievable absolutely unbelievable so opd militia converts one mana to 4.25 to 7.5 ability damage in 20 mana chunks so 85 to 150 ability damage depending on what hero level you are obviously opd militia is more efficient still in converting mana into damage when compared to most hero abilities some overtake it in the early game but then opd opd militia just makes that up in the late game opd militia is a really good card in converting mana into damage it really is and uh, when compared to other cards and heroes with less mana usage and ha higher mana pools will be able to utilize OPD more often depending on which hero more heroes that use higher abilities obviously can't use OPD militia then the mana one gets on OPD militia if you just want to take a look at that 190 will give you 800 to 1400 additional ability damage when fully utilized which is a lot not having to dip into your normal mana pool carriers can see substantial DPS increase through e e through using OPD Militia and their mana pools. Like we said, 60% increased DPS is mind-numbing. OPD Militia is a great card for converting mana into damage if one can land the basic attacks and has a mana to spend. Otherwise, it's just one big mana drain. Even if one needs mana for abilities, spending that 190 mana to get 800 to 1400 extra damage is monstrous. That That's a lot of damage. With Mana Generator Gem, carries could increase DPS dramatically while sustaining that mana usage fairly steadily. Taking that mana cost down to 13 per hit, that's not bad. I mean, you can sustain th those attacks for a long time. If one wants to increase damage on hit substantially, OPD Militia is a very effective and efficient card to use. By far, OPD Militia on a carry especially insane that was the tldr guys what is a more in-depth look at op militia uh what are some bit better insights and why does why are those assumptions what they are and what are those conclusions and why is that so if you guys don't know op militia is an eight agility four intellect knowledge card gotta go into, into intellect a bit but there are a few cards that curve into it fairly well like cryo agent blitz rush some other good cards up there as well 15 power 21 attack speed 190 mana is pretty darn good and the uh, and the active is again basic attacks cost 20 mana and deal an additional 50 plus fit five times hero level in ability damage you can toggle that off to get uh, mana back with mana generator which is pretty much a key gem to using opd militia on a carry hero levels versus the ability damage versus the efficiency of converting that mana into damage it's pretty good you know hero level 14 is when it equals its pre buff and nerf uh so from here level 7 to 14 it is dealing less damage than before but in the late game check this out 150 at hero level 20 is absolutely insane it's the efficiency of of, of the card is actually really not bad as we will see later on when we start uh, looking at hero abilities versus the damage that they deal versus the mana cost and the uh, uh the efficiency we can see it's actually pretty good 
OPD Militia is definitely uh, more efficient than a lot of hero abilities. Just remember, of course, hero abilities do other things as well. So when you're taking a look at, at hero abilities that are meant pretty much just for damage, it's still looking pretty good. So it's very efficient. When we take a look at other cards that are meant to maybe deal just damage or they have some other things as well, it's still fairly good. There is potential. There is potential for Black Ice Routine, even um, even especially Thunder Cleaver here to really skyrocket in efficiency and in value depending on how many people you hit. Um, so, I mean, with that said, it's still it's still looking like a pretty good chart. It's just hyper focused as a one target taking more damage from your basic attacks. Uh, that, that's kind of what this card is about. When we take a look, it's still pretty darn good. One hero that can use OPD Militia really quite well is Chimera. With his Unleash, he gets five attacks in 1.2 seconds, I do believe, making OPD Militia proc five times as well. Throwing empowered rounds, and you can see here, it deals a ton of damage. Ton of damage. 600 damage in 1.2 seconds. Compound that with the Unleash damage. I mean, it's insane. So Chimera, if you want to be as this really bursty um you know hero that jumps onto somebody and then unleash into into empowered attacks oh boy that potential is there but this was what you guys were looking for and that's carries so yeah it's insane we're taking a look at murdoch and grim at hero level 8 and 20. now it's my comparison here is, is is a bit weird because I have Heavy Hitter and Pressure Hunter on these heroes, both at hero level 8, which you can't do. But just for the sake of seeing the difference between OPD Militia, between these two states, that's what that's just what I wanted to do. I just wanted to look at what is the difference between OPD Militia at hero level 8 versus 20, even with those cards on it at that time. So, as you can see, it's insane base dps here at hero level 8 433 a lot of that is from the really good cards that you have have equipped um and then at hero level 20 is 665 grim 429 678 but with opd militia 661 66 percent increase which actually would be m probably likely much more uh just because again you wouldn't have heavy hitter or pressure hunter for example uh but at hero level 20 Look at this, 61% DPS increase with having OPD Militia. Here for Grim, it's 59%, but he's still dealing an insane amount of damage. 1143. Grim, I love the idea. He has a shield to gain a tremendous amount of mana back. I mean, 60% DPS increase? I would almost dare to say OPD Militia is mandatory well mandatory mandatory if you want to deal obscene amounts of damage on your carry this graph here is showing you the relationship between having different amounts of attack speed and power on a grim with opd militia on i wanted to see what in the overall picture of dps what actually increases that more with opd militia and it's not surprising what you're seeing here is at a hero level nine Hero level 9, again, with those other cards, so it's a bit skewed. It does still like attack speed, although not as much as it did before, See, obviously because it's not dealing as much damage. In the late game, hands down, I don't even need to do the math for that, attack speed is going to be so freaking important. Get something like Heavy Hitter and overclocked droid or shatter golem and overclocked droid something with in obscene amounts of attack speed uh wound seeker has i think the highest attack speed in the game and then and then and then there's i think there's uh overclocked droid and opd militia are tied something like that anyways a lot of attack speed is going to be insane with op with opd militia i just wanted to see in the early game what it still likes pretty much as much attack speed as you can get in the early game because i mean you're not going to be able to get this much anyways attack speed attack speed attack speed attack speed 
Again, what are some factual statements we can make about OPD Militia? Converts one mana to four to seven ability damage in 20 mana chunks, so 85 to 100, 150 ability damage. That is good. In the early game, 85 additional damage per hit is, relatively speaking to the damage you're dealing at that time, significant. It really still is. And the 150 in the late game, I mean, you can see just by the numbers that increases your DPS just monstrously. OPD Militia is more efficient in converting mana into damage when compared to most hero abilities. Just its efficiency is good, even when considering it against other damage cards. Heroes with less mana usage and higher mana pools will be able to utilize OPD Militia more often. That's just a sensible statement to make. But somebody like Sparrow, you're seeing maybe right here, I mean, she can definitely not use much mana. She can run away with this card, especially with that ramping passive. That maybe she could use other card, other cards as well. But I mean, in general, if you're not using your mana, OPD Militia is fantastic. The mana one gets on OPD Militia, though, will still give you 800 to 1400 ability damage when feudal fully utilized. So even if you want to use all your abilities and you only want to use, you know, about 100, 200 mana on on OPD Militia. It's still a ton of damage. Carries can see a substantial, and I think that's 60% is much more than substantial, increase through using OPD Militia and their mana pools. It's just absolutely insane. OPD Militia is a great card for converting mana into damage if you can land those basic attacks and has the mana to spend. If you can't land them, you don't have mana generator, which everybody will, everybody has as starting, starting accounts. I mean... You got to be careful. Even if one needs mana for abilities, spending that mana on uh, that OPD militia gives you is huge. So I wouldn't really worry about that aspect of it. With mana generator, though, 13 mana per hit. I mean, you, even carries have a good enough mana pool to, to hit with OPD militia for a long time. If one wants to increase damage on hit substantially, OPD militia is a very effective and quite efficient card to use. It really is. So... In terms of a damage card, OPD Militia is it on a carry it is absolutely insane. They nerfed it and buffed it at the same time. I'm really impressed. Color me absolutely impressed. In the early game, it's not you're not going to snowball th with it um, a ton, which means to me, get your normal carry deck going and then go into o and then go into OPD. So what I would do personally is get Shadow Golem. And does something like Overclock Droid and Nitro Boost, and then get a few more points, and then take off something, especially like Nitro Boost, and then go for OPD Militia with Heavy Hitter on. You want that attack speed, again, to really go into OPD Militia. So essentially, don't go straight for OPD Militia anymore. Uh, while it does less, and it still would be valuable, I think curving into OPD Militia now is, is going to look a lot more like that, if you want to be super effective. So there you guys go. What do you think about this ridiculous card? Marillus Action is a game and screen recorder that offers the lowest megabytes per frame, the lowest computer resource usage, and the highest FPS recording. Check the link in the video description to learn more. Please like this video, like it, dislike it, dislike it, share the community, of course, guys, subscribe. If you guys like this content, especially if you found it useful, got a lot of content coming, so I uh, would love to help you out in the future. Check the video description for links to my website, merchandise store, and Amazon affiliate link, as well as all my social media right here. Huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, Twitch subscribers, and YouTube sponsors who go out of their way to support me and make these videos possible. Till next time, guys, like always, stay optimistic and positive.